so this is the start of a new topic of financial maths. So in this lesson, we're going to be learning about how to round money to the nearest five cents. So the learning intention for this lesson is to develop the ability to round money to the nearest five cents. And in order to be successful, you have to be able to interpret the decimals in money, know when to round up or down, and then actually do the rounding. So when we deal with money, we deal with um, two decimal places. So you might see something like this, okay? So that's when we're talking about the fact that there's two decimal places. Now deciding what we round to in terms of the nearest five cents, that relates to this uh, place here. So what we need to know is that if we're rounding to the nearest five cents, we can round to zero and we can round to five. But then we can also round up to zero as well. So we can round down to zero or we can round up to zero. So the numbers in between this are obviously these numbers. So we can round here and we can round to either of these. Now what we're told is that if it's eight or nine, we round up to the nearest zero. If it's six or seven, we round down to the five, because you can see that that is halfway between five and the next 10. And then similarly, if it's three or four, we're gonna round up to the nearest five. If it's one or two, we're gonna round down to the nearest zero, because again, that's halfway. So this is like your uh, uh, cheat sheet, I guess, or um, the rules of when we round what goes where. So make sure that you write this down with the arrows so it can really help you with the next three examples that we're gonna do. All right, so I've drawn our little cheat sheet here to help us, um, but we're gonna do our uh, three examples here now. So our first example is gonna be 71 cents. Okay, that's our first example. So we need to look at our decimal place. So our furthest one to the right, because if we're talking about money, these are technically decimals, like 0.71. Um, and one tells us that we need to round down. So that means that if we're rounding to the nearest five cents, this would round to 70 cents. All right, so our second example is going to be $5.48, okay? So for this one, we're going to look at eight because that's our furthest digit. We're going to look at eight here. That tells us that we need to round up. So that means that 48 cents becomes 50 cents. So then our answer would be $5.50. All right, the last one that we're going to do, $9.99. So you would have seen things like this in the shops. They do this to try and make things look cheaper than what they are. So we're looking at this end nine here. The nine tells us that we need to go up. Now, if I change 99 up, this is the next cent up from this is going to be $10. So our answer would be $10. So if we think back to our learning intention and our success criteria, it was to be able to um, understand the decimal places, then it was uh, to know whether to round up or down and then actually perform the rounding. So if you can do all of that, then you've met today's success criteria.